Here's a review of the new D-Lab Optiplex amp built in a Lafayette Stereo 10A integrated amplifier cabinet from the 1970s. We'll start over here on the left. This is your input jack. You have volume and then we have the Optiplex control. So if you take the Optiplex and you go full counterclockwise that's like a Fender Deluxe. You go straight up responds like a champ. If you go all the way over, that gives you a response of a Marshall. The tone control is still tone, but it's kind of funny, it's backwards. So treble is here and bass is over here. The input selector has been repurposed as the power switch, plus it selects the primary tap of the output transformer. So this is off, power's on, and you're at the 5K tap, power remains on and now this is the 8k tap. Backside this is your power in and you have speaker outputs for 4 or 8 ohm. There used to be jacks here they've been removed but now you can see the tubes inside. Pretty cool. Here's the inside of the amp. This is your power transformer. Got a line fuse over here. This is the output transformer. This is the new champ style sold by AmplifiedParts.com. Great little transformer. The tubes are mounted on right angle brackets, so they lay in here. Got a 6V6 and a 12AX7. Then we have the driver board. This is the D-Lab PCBA Opti board. Okay, so this is an all-in-one board. Power supply sections here, and this is the driver for the 12AX7 and the 6V6. All of your controls and tubes simply wire to that board as well as the power transformer. This board does all the work. Makes for a really nice package when you're trying to design a small practice amp. So here is my Switchcraft input jack, volume control, dual pot for the Optiplex, and tone. And here is the repurposed three-way position switch. I reused the original incandescent power lamp and I have a 47 ohm resistor in line with the 6.3 volts that feed it. Pretty nifty little amp. It only measures 9 inches across, 3 high, and 6 deep. What's really nice about this build is you don't have to have an actual chassis sitting inside because of the way the components mount. So now the real question, what does this little guy sound like? Well, take a listen. <laughs> Thank you. 